was a very rebellious teenager. I didn't want to get married. I was told that there was, you know, there was an arranged marriage and I was 16, 17. And I think that scared me. And I just thought I'll find a way to maybe run away. So I did. And then I met my ex-husband, T. Nagy, who's uh, from Cape Cod in America. My name is Leila. I'm from Kenya. I came to America in 1992, and this is my welcoming story. I think it was hope, probably for my mother if I left, but I was able to save them somehow. You know, she was a housewife. She was married at 16, had eight kids. Her husband died. There was so much for her to think about more than to me, you know. For me, I was more, oh, I'm gonna come to America. This is a way that I could help my family be able to leave Kenya and have a better life, you know. I came to America and then my sister followed in England and we both worked hard. My first job was I worked as a cleaning uh, for cottages and then I was a dishwasher. I had two jobs and I remember saving up to 10,000 in one summer and just sending back home and getting my family out from Kenya and they all moved to London. Mm -hmm. My ex-husband and his family, you know, they're like, and they're an amazing family. They're amazing human beings. And they always told me, you can do whatever you want here in America and be whoever you want. And that, to hear that was just like, wow, you know. Martha Nagy is uh, Team Nagy's mother. Um, my ex, my mother-in-law, <laughs> I should say ex-mother-in-law. I hate the word ex, it's awful. <laughs> um, she's my mother. She paid for my first year of uh, school fees. She, you know, and that was, you know, here's a lot of money. You know, you know, she had her son in college, me, you know, that was a huge role that she played. You know, saying, oh, it's okay, I'll take care of that. You can pay me an installment. I've, I've done a lot of businesses here, I've opened businesses, I've failed. And it's amazing that I don't have to bribe anyone. Like, I do not have to bribe a government. Like, I had this, last weekend, I just went to file for my passport. Like, I went to the post office, I had every piece of paper that I needed. I followed the instruction, and I brought extra money, extra checks, just in case the post guy was like, you have to bribe me. <laughs> and, I mean, the whole process lasted 20 minutes and nothing happened. I mean, I, and I've been here for 19 years, but like because of my thinking, if I pay my taxes and I'm a good citizen and I don't get arrested for anything, you know, I can have anything that every American has, you know. I don't know, it kind of awakened me that maybe I want to be in politics too, and I didn't even know that about just the whole process. My dreams have come true, and there are many more to come. I would like to thank the Nagy and the Biking family very much from the bottom of my heart and thank you for giving me a life that I always wanted. They're really amazing people in this country. <laughs>